The first book in the Hilda Cracks the Case series opens with nine-year-old Hilda Lisiak outside her local police station in the town of Selins Grove, Pennsylvania, following up on a tip about a break-in on Orange Street. The on-duty officer refuses to divulge any information, but if she's going to break the story in her newspaper, the Orange Street News, she has to investigate using six basic reporting questions, who, what, where, when, why, how. In the first chapter, Hilda is doing the exact same thing I did in real life, said M.S. Lysiak, the now 10-year-old reporter upon whom the book is based. She visited the Times recently, proudly rocking peach-colored socks featuring raccoons eating donuts. Hero Dog is the first of six books in a series featuring M.S. Lysiak, they draw significantly from her experiences chasing the news in real life Selins Grove, where her parents give her a two-mile-wide stomping ground. The books, which M.S. Lysiak works on with her father, Matthew Lysiak, include definitions for terms like a deadline or a press pass and reporting tips like the six questions, which she used to write on her arm in marker so she wouldn't forget them. The second book in the series was released on Tuesday. M.S. Lysiak's story has also been optioned by Paramount TV and anonymous content for a television series. M.S. Lysiak's experiences went viral in April 2016, when she broke a story on a local homicide. A source had tipped her on the incident a few blocks from her home, and after confirming with the police department, she immediately went to the scene, interviewing neighbors for additional information. Her on-the-ground reporting meant her article was up hours before other news outlets had even reached the scene, prompting critical comments on her website from those who thought a little girl as cute as she was should be playing with dolls or having tea parties instead of chasing hard news. Her story was picked up by The Washington Post and The Guardian, among other outlets. I think a lot of adults tell their kids they can do anything, but at the end of the day don't actually let them do anything, she said. Growing up, M.S. Lysiak traveled around the country with her father, a former reporter for the New York Daily News, when he was on assignment. Asked what she remembers from that time, she mentions a wild turkey chase in Staten Island and a visit to an oversized Christmas tree in Pennsylvania. But her father notes that she was exposed to serious reporting early on. They spent a month in Florida after Trayvon Martin was shot and killed by George Zimmerman and went to South Carolina after the massacre at a church in Charleston. We would have conversations, but I wish I could tell you I said, well, in journalism, here's what we do, Mr. Lysiak said instead, Ms. Lysiak learned through exposure. The family moved from New York City to Pennsylvania when she was six, and soon after she started covering minor family events she broke the news to her father, for instance, that her mother planned to buy a new car writing the articles on note cards in crayon. But she quickly realized it wasn't getting me anywhere and asked her dad if he could help her start a real newspaper.